What's up YouTube? Jack Armstrong, Jack Daddy Customs. Today we're going to show you how you can build this awesome, beastly mailbox. Today I'm going to build a simple mailbox that's going to look really legit. So we've got a 6x6 six six treated post. We've got a few of these little brackets. Uh, they're a little ornamental. I've had them from another project for a while, so I'm just going to use them for this. And, uh, I've got a skill saw, of course we've got a big mailbox, and then I ordered a little light on Amazon, I'll show that to you in a little bit, to go on the top of this. From the ground level up, it's supposed to be 41 inches to the bottom of the mailbox at a minimum. So we've got it measured out, 41 inches, where we're going to make a little cut. We've got from 18 inches in the ground, so we're going to bury it 18 inches in the ground. We're going to cut off the top, and that's what's going to go right here for our mailbox to sit on. So we're going to cut a groove right here so that this piece will be able to fit down in there and we can screw and get some good hold on that and then we'll put these under there. So we're going to use some stainless screws, make sure this thing will be nice and weatherproof forever and um, let's get it going. All right, so this is the piece that the mailbox will be sitting on. We don't want it just to be like a big old chunk sticking out here. So we're going to cut bevels all the way around just to make it look a little bit nicer. Now, we're going to cut into here so that that piece will be able to sit in. We're going to put it two inches inside so it gives us something good to screw to we're going to cut several out there and then we'll just chip it out with a hammer all right so now we're going to take some pretty long screws run them right there and see that way we'll get a good hold and we're not going right at the edge of our wood all right we've got two of these left over from something else so we're gonna put one on each side kind of give it like a doubled up look and then that will fit down on top of our pole, nice and flat on both sides. All right, we're out on location, and our next step is to bury this post. So we're going to dig down uh, and put this thing 18 inches in the ground. That way we'll be 41 inches up from the roadside. You just got to start digging. This is the hard part. Hold dug and I gotta stand this up and put it in there. Alright, the last step and we're done is to put this light. Uh, on top of our post. So order this off of Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. And it's got a base that fits on the bottom of it. And it could fit a 4x4 four four or a 6x6. Six six. So, uh, obviously our post is a 6x6. Six six. So there's the light. A little solar thing on top. Step. Put the lock on top of the pole. It's got some little screw holes already there. 